Huchong Phantom. In 2010, an eerie incident unfolded in a deserted office of a driving school in Puchong, Malaysia. Security footage documented a peculiar sequence of events that transpired shortly after the stroke of midnight, when a couple entered the empty building. At first, the couple's behavior seemed casual and relaxed, and their interaction appeared light-hearted. But before long, the atmosphere changes. Take a look. The incident was truly unsettling and reportedly left a mark on the unnamed woman's psyche, leading to a severe deterioration of her mental health. The trauma was so profound that it required hospitalization and her recovery has been a long and uncertain process. As for her male companion from that fateful night, his whereabouts remain unknown. Conflicting reports have surfaced over the years, with unsubstantiated claims of his discovery as recently as 2016. Unsurprisingly, the footage captured widespread attention, prompting a team of Malaysian documentarians to investigate the site in 2015. Their aim was to explore the alleged haunted location and create a film delving into the mystery surrounding the notorious video. However, during their investigation, the crew members reported unsettling sensations of being influenced or possessed by the site's ominous atmosphere. Despite their efforts, they are unable to provide a conclusive explanation for the events that befell the couple in 2010. The footage raises intriguing questions. Could this be a rare instance of poltergeist activity captured on camera? Or is it merely a skillfully executed deception designed to manipulate viewers? The debate continues, inviting viewers to draw their own conclusions about the nature of these unsettling events. The Devil in the Legos In the summer of 2019, despite never believing in ghosts or considering their home to be eerie, a family began experiencing unusual events after moving into a house that was built only nine years prior. The land had no known dark history, which made the strange happenings even more perplexing. Most of these incidents involved toys, except for one occasion when one of the brothers distinctively heard his father's voice calling his name from downstairs, only to realize he was the only one at home. One of the most reoccurring phenomena was the sound of someone rummaging through a big plastic tub filled with Lego pieces. As children, the siblings frequently collected and built barnacles in their upstairs playroom. The noise of sifting through the pieces, a loud and unmistakable sound, became familiar to everyone in the household. Oddly enough, they often heard this sound when they were certain that no one was upstairs. As they grew older, they stored their vast collection of bionicles and loose parts in a long closet, yet the mysterious sounds continued to emanate from there occasionally. Perplexed by these noises, the family never thought to record them, assuming that a recording of Lego sounds from the next room wouldn't interest anyone else. However, after sharing their experiences with a friend who found it astonishing, they were encouraged to capture the sound the next time they occurred. Not long after, both brothers were watching TV when they heard the familiar noise down the hall. They immediately started recording and managed to get clear audio of the event. Take a look and listen. Yeah. Shh. 
There's literally nothing in here. And look how heavy this is. Yeah. Hang on, there's nothing up here. What the crap? There's nothing in here either, look. I can hear it when we got about halfway down the hallway. Yeah, it stopped. That's when we got closer. I just heard once. Like I came out and heard like shh. That's all I heard. Yeah, but we heard it. We, we were sitting there. We were just sitting there. And we heard it. You heard it start? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we heard it start. And it went for like. How long ago before you got me? It probably went for about 10 seconds, 10 or 15 oh, seconds. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. You'll watch it. They sent the clip to their friend, who shared it with several other people. The recording unsettled many, leading some to express a desire to spend the night at the house to witness the phenomenon firsthand. When these friends visited, the parents became aware of the buzz surrounding the video and asked to see it. They played it on the living room TV so everyone could watch together. It was then that they all noticed something truly eerie, a large bionicle figure, one they had designed as kids to be much bigger than the store-bought versions, in the back of the closet, turned its head towards them just as they were leaving. Take a look. Yeah. Hang on, there's nothing up here. This detail had gone unnoticed when watching on smaller phone screens. Shocked, they immediately went upstairs to investigate and found the figure in the same position it was at the start of the video. Despite these strange occurrences, the family emphasized that they have never felt unsafe in their home. Others, however, aren't so sure a demon hasn't nestled itself into the toy closet. What's your thoughts on this one? The Banshee of Blockbuster In the late 20th and early 21st centuries, Blockbuster reigned supreme in the home entertainment industry, offering an expansive array of films for rent in countless North American cities. However, as digital streaming services gained prominence and physical media waned in popularity during the late 2000s, Blockbuster's dominance swiftly diminished. The once thriving enterprise saw its stores shuttered, assets liquidated, and iconic brands reduced to a nostalgic memory. Before Blockbuster's decline, one of its franchises experienced an unusual event in 2007. In a small Blockbuster store in Mexico, a staff member was closing up for the night. After making sure the store was empty and locked up, he began restocking DVDs and preparing for the next day, as he had done so many times before. However, on this particular evening, something unexpected happened. As the clock neared 11.32 p.m., the employee pushed a cart of DVDs into an aisle to restock the shelves. For about 60 seconds, everything appeared normal as the worker was out of view of the camera. But at around 11.33, strange things started to happen. Take a look. The footage has been viewed millions of times, but no explanation has ever been offered. The employee's response has led many to believe something paranormal was going on in that store. It's possible that if just one DVD had fallen, it could be a coincidence, but the cart moving and multiple DVDs falling adds credence to the authenticity of these strange events. Of course, it could all be an elaborate hoax, orchestrated by bored night shift personnel, although many find a paranormal explanation more plausible. Regardless of its origin, this eerie incident remains a fascinating and unsettling footnote in the annals of the once mighty movie rental empire. What do you make of the footage?
the shopping possessor. An unsettling incident captured on surveillance footage has sparked widespread discussion about the possibility of supernatural occurrences in mundane settings. The video, which gained viral status on YouTube almost a decade ago, under the misleading title, Strange Demonic Possession in Korea, actually documents an event that took place in a Chinese supermarket. The recording begins innocuously enough, showing a female shopper pursuing the store shelves. However, the scene takes an abrupt and chilling turn as the woman's behavior dramatically alters. Take a look. It seems, without any apparent provocation, the woman's head had been pulled backwards by an unseen force, and her body is taken over by something. At the time, the startling footage went viral, and many believe they witnessed evidence of a demonic possession. They point to the man in black, comforting the woman near the end of the video, appearing to hold his hands up in a praying motion, as if attempting to use spirituality to fight whatever is plaguing the lady. Of course, there is a more plausible explanation, the poor woman is simply experiencing an unfortunately timed seizure. However, it seems we will never know the truth for sure, as there is very little background information to prove the video's authenticity. To us, it looks like a demonic force swept through that grocery store, permeating that poor woman in the process. But what do you think? The Backyard Shapeshifter In January of 2023, a man posted a short clip from his outdoor security camera, depicting what appears to be an owl roosting on top of a homemade cat climbing rig. This wasn't just any old depiction of backyard wildlife, however, because after 30 seconds of casual activity, the owl takes flight and inexplicably disappears. Watch closely. Many viewers claimed the video was edited. Some explained the phenomenon was nothing more than the security camera's infrared technology dropping frames of the owl's departure as it flew too far and fast from the infrared sensors. Other eagle-eyed viewers believe the owl was just simply too quick for the cheap camera's shutter to capture its entire flight. But do these mechanical explanations fully explain how this bird seems to minimize before dissipating into thin air? There are no pixels or smudges of light where the bird might have been distorted by a bad shutter or infrared sensor. It glides so smoothly into nothingness, like a shapeshifter or skinwalker, making itself invisible. Posing the question, was that an owl after all? Thanks for watching everyone, and sleep tight.